Picture this. It's December 3rd, 2025. Outside, frost etches every window and the cold bites through your layers. In the middle of a frozen field stands a simple, timber-framed greenhouse. The glass sparkles, but not with frost. Inside, rows of green thriving plants defy the winter chill. No heaters, no gas, no electricity. This isn't magic. It's Amish ingenuity, growing food year-round, even when the ground outside is frozen solid. While most crank up the heat, the Amish harvest fresh vegetables, thanks to a system that generates, stores, and distributes its own warmth. The secret? Not technology, but a natural process harnessed for centuries. They use compost, water, and straw, a three-pronged biological attack on winter. It's a closed-loop system, dirty, smelly, and absolutely brilliant. No switches to flip, just hands-on work and a living, breathing heating system. So, how do they create a pocket of summer in the depths of winter? Let's break down the three key elements. Sometimes, the best solutions are the simplest, right under our noses, all along. At the heart of it all is a hot compost pile, a biological engine built to generate serious heat. When the right mix of organic materials comes together, bacteria and fungi break it down, releasing heat in the process. A well-built pile can reach 60 to 70 degrees Celsius, hot enough to warm a greenhouse. The Amish see compost not as waste but as fuel, a living furnace that turns scraps into warmth. The ingredients? Horse manure, wood chips, straw, and kitchen scraps. Resources found on any farm. The secret is balance. The right mix of nitrogen-rich greens and carbon-rich browns. It's like baking a cake but messier. This system doesn't rely on fossil fuels, just biology and know-how. The pile needs air, moisture, and regular turning to keep the microbial party going. The payoff steady, free heat all winter. While others depend on the grid, the Amish rely on nature's own furnace. It's a reminder that nature often has the answers we need. Waste becomes warmth. Nothing is wasted. Everything has a purpose. Building this heat source is like making a giant lasagna. Start with a trench or chamber in the greenhouse floor. The first layer coarse wood chips or branches for aeration. Oxygen is key for heat-producing bacteria. Next, alternate layers of greens, like fresh manure, and browns. Straw, dry leaves, sawdust. Each layer gets a splash of water. Damp, not soaked, like a wrung-out sponge. Too dry and decomposition stalls. Too wet, and it turns cold and smelly. Layer by layer, fill the trench, maintaining the right balance and moisture. Within days the pile heats up, hot enough to feel through the surface. The Amish turn the pile every few weeks, mixing layers to keep the heat steady. It's hard work, but it's the engine that powers the greenhouse. The result? A powerful biological furnace that keeps plants thriving through winter. No electricity, no gas, just compost and care. This is sustainable warmth, built from the ground up. Generating heat is one thing. Distributing it is another. The Amish lay perforated pipes beneath the greenhouse beds, running from the compost trench. As the compost heats up, warm air flows through the pipes, radiating heat directly into the soil. This underfloor heating keeps roots warm, which is crucial for plant health. No fans or pumps, just natural convection. Along the north wall, black barrels filled with water absorb sunlight by day and release heat by night. Water acts as a thermal battery, buffering temperature swings and preventing frost. The combination of hot compost and thermal mass creates a stable, nurturing environment. Even in a blizzard, the greenhouse stays warm and productive. It's simple, effective, and entirely off-grid. Ingenious design turns winter's chill into a season of growth. Step inside an Amish greenhouse in January, lush greens, root vegetables, and the scent of earth fill the air. While the world outside is frozen, inside is a haven of life and abundance. Fresh, nutritious food grows all winter, no imports or fossil fuels required. The warmth is gentle and constant, radiating from the soil itself. At season's end, the spent compost becomes rich humus, feeding next year's crops. It's a closed-loop cycle, waste becomes nourishment, year after year. This isn't just survival. It's thriving, sustainably, and independently. Anyone with space and determination can replicate this system. Sometimes, the best solutions are low-tech and rooted in respect for nature. The Amish greenhouse is more than a way to grow food. It's a lesson in ingenuity and sustainability, 
all powered by a humble pile of compost. 